especially you all have jobs. It's great. You yeah, all have jobs. Especially when you yeah. have a high concept show like this. And, yeah. and nowadays, it seems like television is becoming more open minded to these types of shows. Like, I don't know if the show. Well, like any, any kind of genre, pop oh, yeah, culture yeah, yeah, type yeah. show. Yeah. Whereas, like, maybe five or ten years ago, they wouldn't have given it the type of chance that they've given it. So it's yeah. nice to see that support coming from the network on something like this. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it makes it it's all the difference in the world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I do think for so many people of who are working in entertainment, or as writers, directors, actors, when you grew up on this material, yeah. you know, and when you, I think a lot of those people grew up like 15, 20 years ago, and all of a sudden they graduate to like working in a, as a working person, and you can no longer do the stuff that actually made you want to be a writer, director, actor to begin with. So that makes a huge difference. Um, I do feel like. It's like somebody, somebody finally woke up to the idea of where we reach with these characters and yeah. that they actually are, um, are modern myths, like the, the same way that you had Perseus or what have you, um, and they've responded to it. So yeah, it's made a huge difference. It's great. So, that was a rambling answer. No, <laughs> no it's good. good. Oh, I love rambling answers. Yeah, yeah right? More fodder to work with. There you go, man. <laughs> Can you tell us about anything you're really excited about for the next season? Sure. Um, well, I'm excited about the format of the show for most of anything, more than anything. Because like season one, we, yeah. Well, season one, it was like we did a lot of the like, case of the week stuff as we were trying to find the show. And season two is a fully serialized show, you know. Um, and so there's going to be a lot more character stories because you're not going to be just like solving crimes and what have you. Like bad things will happen. There are villains. But it's really about the saga of the characters who live inside Gotham and their lives. So it's much more fun to write. I think it's more fun for the actors to act because the scenes are going to be bigger as well. Um, I feel like we are taking a big evolutionary step towards like the Gotham that we know from the comic books and the Gotham that Batman will eventually arrive to save. Where season one was really, you know, like the Falcone or any mob version of Gotham. Season two is you take that step towards like the world where supervillains are going to exist. Not yet, but you can see the counterpart, so that's super exciting. You know? Um, we have some new characters coming in that are, are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we, and we, so Anything you can announce? Well, we, we, we're bringing in some canon characters, you know, that we haven't done yet. We're, like Victor Freeze will make an appearance. We'll do a, um, like the origins of Firefly, the way that hasn't been done before. Um, and we'll have doing a big Azrael run, which I think is going to be oh. super exciting. Mm. So, yeah. What prompted the change to more serialized storytelling? A lot of that is just like, you know, it's like finding the show. Yeah. Um, and it's like, what kind of show do we actually like doing and want to do? Um, and it was really just like, we found that more interesting to write. And the actors, when you've been, they really all wanted to do more serialized storytelling. And also, I feel like the, that's just what people are watching today, too. Like, you watch Game of Thrones. I mean, that's a fully serialized show, you know. And it's, it's tricky to do it over 22 episodes because you really have to stretch it out, you know. Um, I mean, that's stretch it out, but you have to build a lot of story over that. But it's, it's just more, I think, I prefer to watch it. I think it, as people binge more shows and watch them online, the serialized storytelling is more suited to that. Yeah. Yep. How much of the aftermath from this season on Cloud do you see? Was it uh, done with Cloud? Like we, we pick up at the exact moment the season one ended. At the very, at the very beginning, as we're going down the, into the, uh, his dad's wine cellar. Um, but then we immediately jump forward about six weeks uh, or a month or six weeks to the aftermath of what's happened from all like, the carnage at the end of season one. So, they've picked up all the bodies off the screen. <laughs> Essentially, that's kind of it. Yeah. So now they're just dissecting them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they hang them up for the crows. <laughs> it seemed like when the show first started, there was uh, uh, obviously some fan apprehension. You know, of course. But, but once it got going, everybody kind of shut the hell up. So was that kind of a nice thing to see that people took to it as it went along? Oh yeah, I mean, you're I mean, you're, you're always nervous when you're approaching those characters, and you're like, you know, you know, people have such strong feelings about it. And also, even the, even when they're canonical characters, there's like different versions of those characters. That some people attach to different versions of them, so you can you know, you're never going to make everybody happy. Right. But I think when you go out there and people see you're treating it with like both respect and also trying to bring something new to it, they go, oh. Well, you, Trying to do a good job. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been that's been great. Yeah, I've also been nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you so Thanks, much. Guys. Thank you.